So I've just started making Turkish coffee, and uh, I was making it in a stainless steel pot, which is a really nice pot, and it's fine, uh, but I didn't feel like it was heating evenly, so I didn't know if it was the pot or if it was my induction stove. What I did was went ahead and bought an authentic uh, Turkish coffee pot, and uh, it's copper on the outside, tin lined on the inside, and, and it's going to hold about uh, six ounces of water. And uh, I've also went ahead and bought myself a camp stove so I can get a more direct heat to the bottom of the... Uh, of the pot. So what I'm going to do today is show you how I make my Turkish coffee. So stick around. I'm going to do 180 grams of water. 180 grams of water, that's six ounces. I like to go ahead and add sugar to it. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up and dissolve. Next thing I'm going to do is bring it to a boil. We're going to do 18 grams of coffee. So in just a couple of minutes the water has come to a rolling boil. Now again I'm just going to do a, a tablespoon at a time. Now what we want to do is that we want to boil this again and we want to do a slow boil on this. So we're just going to keep this flame really low. Now we don't want it to boil over. You can see all that cream coming up to the top. Now at this point, some people will pull that cream off and I'm not, I'm just going to let that boil up over. Again, you can pull this cream off a second time. We're just going to let it reduce. Now you don't want to over boil this because you will extract too much um, coffee and it'll become bitter. And you don't like a bitter coffee. Nobody likes a bitter coffee. At this point, my coffee is done. Now you're always gonna have a bunch of grounds doing it this way because they don't dissolve. They just sit down at the bottom. And uh, when you drink your coffee, you wanna make sure that you're just sipping on your coffee and you're not drinking. Okay, so if you look real closely, this is a really dark cup of coffee, and you can see all the grounds have settled down there to the bottom. And that, you just wanna make sure that you don't drink that because it is, it is sludge, and it's sandy, and it's not, it's not good at all. It'll ruin your coffee. This is actually enough for three people right here. Ooh, that's really good. You definitely, you definitely need to add sugar to it. I'm a strictly black coffee drinker, but this stuff right here, I tell you what, it'll put hair on your back. And uh, so you just wanna make sure that you, you sweeten that up a little bit and it'll make it far better.